is Monday. We out here running. We got Nova on this run. Not that it's too helpful. Okay, so pace is 6.15. Does yours say 6.15 too? Yep. Okay. My heart rate's 163, which is, I mean, I always have a high heart rate, but what's yours? Uh, 168. 168. The thing is though, is I feel like I'm not working that hard. I feel fine, but my heart rate's so high. Whereas like, you feel pretty crappy, hey? Yeah. So, but it's Monday, we're getting it done. The weather's crappy, but it's good running with her. Let's go. Think about running with Nova, so he always like collides into other dogs. So we'll see how this goes. But yay, let's go. Marathon training in full swing. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna take you guys through a week of my workouts. So I don't know what's gotten into me, but I have signed up to a bunch of competitions. I feel like 2024 is all about kicking goals and yeah, fingers crossed I actually make it. So I signed up to a few competitions. I've signed up to a high rocks competition, a CrossFit open competition, and I'm on the wait list for a marathon. Um, so for those of you that don't know what High Rocks is, High Rocks is basically functional and running workouts. So I'm just reading here what is involved in High Rocks, just so I don't forget anything. So you're going to have a kilometer of running and in between you're going to do a functional workout. So you'll do a ski erg, kilometer of running, you'll do a sled push, kilometer of running, sled pull, burpee broad jumps, rowing, a farm's carry, sandbug land sandbag lunges and wall balls and each is going to have a kilometer of running in between so it's going to be super hectic but i'm hoping with a background in crossfit it's actually going to help get me through this high rocks i've also signed up with my partner josh so yeah i'm excited we're going to be a mixed team we're very competitive so we'll probably be competing with each other but i'm so here for it next i've also signed up to the crossfit open so that is going to be so much fun the crossfit open i believe is in february to march and it goes across three weeks, which will be in Japan at the time, but you can do the CrossFit competition from anywhere in the world. So we're gonna to have to like find a gym when we're holidaying in Japan, just to complete these workouts. I'm on the wait list for a marathon. Uh, I've never done a marathon before. I've done two half marathons and I've been keeping my running training up, but it's really difficult because I've signed up to a bunch of marathons and all of the marathons that I've signed up to are at max capacity, uh, but really exciting. I got an email this morning saying the Gold Coast is going to open up 3,000 new spots um, on the 29th of January. So hopefully I'll get a spot in the marathon. Guys, like why is it so difficult to get a spot in a marathon? It's like everyone wants to run one, which is great, but um, still, I just really wanna see if I can do a full marathon because I've never done one before. So yeah, I'm gonna take you guys through my week of workouts, training for all of these competitions I've signed up to. Um, let's go. Warm-up started down the dodgy staircase. What? Oh, damn. My legs are so freaking sore. I was literally doing squats at the gym yesterday. So this run is going to feel like absolute dog's balls. But I don't know why you're wearing a full jacket when it's like 23 degrees right now. Tattoos. Oh, yes. Got to protect the tattoos out on the track we're um a good measure that we're running slow enough and building up our aerobic base is if we can speak in full sandwiches. sandwiches sentences so far i've done a little check we're good you may have noticed you little observant followers you that we are not wearing earphones for this run we are just absolutely raw dogging in and boy does it suck Nah, seriously, I think we need to get used to having no stimulation on runs. But boy, do the wrongs feel twice as long. What do you do to pass the time? Um, what do I do? I count <laughs> backwards from 100 by 7. <laughs> uh, I'm calling BS. At least, like, it's a nice day. We got that going for us, but... Ooh. Look, 
runs in the middle of the day, it never feel good. Plus I'm wearing pants, which I highly regret. It just makes me feel like I'm trudging through mud. Like I need to wear some shorts, free up my legs. Wildlife, look at that swan. I wish I was that swan. Oh no, it looks like it has a piece of plastic around its neck. <sighs> yeah. Look at this, I think this dog is pooping in the middle of the road. Dogs. All right, we have done 2.3 Ks. We're going really slow pace today. We're going 6.30. Yeah, where's your owner, bud? <laughs> she's actually, she's gone. The dog reports to no one. <laughs> what was that? Run. I call that the Tom Cruise. <laughs> Thanks. Do you think I'm fast? Yeah. Alright, marathon test. Can we do it? <laughs> Leaving my mans behind. Took the boys out for a run. The old ball and chain. Lagging behind. Is there the best feeling when you run past someone? And they're like, oh, they're a runner. <laughs> On the inside, we just hold our breath when we run past people so we don't sound puffed. Really? <laughs> Man is sweating right now, panting. <laughs> then again, you just had COVID, hey? We reckon that's made him, don't worry, he doesn't have COVID anymore. We reckon that's definitely made things a lot difficult. Respiratory system's a bit cooked. 4K, easy run done. I don't know if you can see that. Woo, we're done. That was good. 6.26, super slow, super nice and easy, like I said. I did a bit of a leg session yesterday, so I wanted to take it easy. And he's doing an easy shakeout run before his big event. So, yeah. The difference? So for those of you that don't know what CrossFit is, it's basically like high intensity training. Um, it combines both functional fitness, running, gymnastics, strength, weight training. It's kind of like you have to have a really good base fitness level of everything and combined all together. Um, definitely involves a little bit of skill, um, but anyone can do it, which is the best part. We have like 70, 80 year olds in CrossFit as well. So that's really cool and very inspiring. Dog gotta do what a dog gotta do. Nice. <laughs> ah! 
there guys. They joined me for the first few Ks, but time to keep on going. All right, we are almost eight Ks in. I'm trying to tuck my spine underneath because I've got some like lower back issues that aren't great. So sad, Josh left. It was nice to have him, but yeah, he joined me for the first couple of kilometers and now it's all me. Hey, we are all done. Woohoo! 12 Ks. Um, it felt good. Although there was a few little pain cave moments, so I had to just like stare in the distance and like fixate on a tree just to get me through. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe, click the bell, do all the things. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, and let me know what else you guys want to see as well. Do you want to see dancing? Do you want to see training? Do you want to see my work, my life, goals, fitness goals? Let me know. And I also want to know your 2024 goals as well. What are you guys doing this year to push yourself outside of your comfort zone? Um, let's smash this year, guys. See you next time.